Now at six, this story. Save our environment, you know, basically. And uh, yeah, I think it's a good thing. Today is the day a plan to get rid of plastic bags takes effect. Stores across the state are now charging a fee for those single-use plastic bags. And the goal is to get all of us to bring reusable bags every time we shop. Channel 3 Susan Rapp is live at Westside Market in Rocky Hill. And Susan, I have to ask you, how are people adjusting today on this first day? Well, Denise, I think there's been so much publicity about all of this that it would be hard to find someone who didn't know that something is going on about plastic bags. And even those who may not to be too crazy about bringing reusable bags to the store, well, they now seem pretty committed. Quite a few shoppers at Westside Market bring reusable bags, but today it seemed there were a lot more of them. Every time, every time I go, yeah, I'll remember, because I have them all in my car. They're inside bags, inside bags. Shoppers got the message. Starting today, grocery stores can charge 10 cents for a single-use plastic bag. This is the way Money to get talks. This right. is the way this to do it. Right. Yep. Even though I'm a former state employee and I appreciate the tax dollars <laughs> for my retirement, this is the way to do it. Westside has decided to get rid of plastic bags altogether. Customers are getting ready for it. Um, I know they don't want to pay the tax. We don't want to charge our customers the tax, so we, that's why we got rid of the plastic bags. But they are going to charge for paper, mainly because paper bags, especially those with handles, cost quite a bit more than plastic. Big Y and Stop and Shop have also ditched plastic bags and will be charging for paper as well. This is a movement. So, so we were getting there on our own, some faster than others. The state law accelerated that. The plan gives shoppers two years to get used to bringing reusable bags. After that, plastic bags will be banned. If you want the bag, ma'am, I need the 10 cent. Bag. She said, no, nobody take it. The owner of this convenience store on the Berlin Turnpike says most of his customers, however, would rather carry their items than pay 10 cents. If everyone does their part, five billion plastic bags could be eliminated over 10 years. Even those who are not used to bringing their own bags feel this is the way to go. Plastic is, you know, we got to do some recycling, that's for sure. I usually have a, one of those, uh, the bigger bags that I bring with me, but next time I will. Some stores are offering shoppers incentives. If you bring a plastic bag to the store, they will give you a reusable bag. But here's something to think about. Paper bags, they're really not much better. In fact, you have to cut down trees, as you know, to make them. And they are more expensive to transport. So maybe, just maybe someday in the future, plastic and paper will all be banned and we'll just have to use our reusable bags. We are live in Rocky Hill, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.